are you doing? <laughs> what? Yeah, I'm you here. Thanks. Look what I've got in here. <laughs> uh, what are you drinking? And uh, I think it's BCA, but I think it's one of those sweet sashes that you gave me because I couldn't get it all. Obviously, like I've got those one kilo big boxes, and I just couldn't get get like be bothered to to take it with me. So I just took a few sashes with me to Poland. Oh, <laughs> You don't know what you're drinking? Uh, no, it's BCA, but I don't know what brand. I don't even oh, okay. know. I just put that in and that was me. So oh. I wasn't even training in Poland at all yet. So I'm buzzing for training for today. So Yeah? Today is your first day training in Poland, you say? Uh, yeah. Uh, I was training on Monday, uh, but I was still in Scotland at 3 o'clock in the morning. Uh, usual for me. And uh, after that, I had a flight. Almost been late. And... And that's me here now. Who's just nice. joining? I'm just trying to have a look. Uh, anyone that I know? Apart from Beth. Yeah, can you see? <laughs> can you see these people? Quite a few so far. So yeah, far, Sophia, how are you? Sorry? How are you? Oh, yeah, good. Been looking forward to this, haven't I? I know, I've never seen you before. Like, this is so funny. Yeah, it's, it's, yeah, it's so strange, long. isn't it? But we'll, we'll hopefully see you in January, right? When we do those adverts. I, I think I'm too bulky <laughs> for that. I literally feel like <laughs> big. But hopefully, if not January, then the next one. And, um, yeah. Do you know the dates yet? No, I haven't got the dates yet. Um, but, yeah, we're not sure. Um, yeah, we're, we're, it doesn't even come up in the 1st January that it's going to be on the 5th. Because I'm literally like, after Christmas time in Poland, I'll be like even bigger than I am just now. And I'm already not feeling comfortable with myself. <laughs> what do you mean even bigger? You're mad. Like, literally, there's food all the time in here. Like, I've I'm just, still eating. I've just yeah. seen Beth said, didn't even know you were Scottish. <laughs> not even, I'm not Scottish, I'm Polish. <laughs> <laughs> but I, I was going to say, um, I can really hear the Scottish in your accent. I know, lots of people telling me that. Like, I can hear it every single day. But it's just because yeah, I used yeah. to work in the airport and I met lots of people when I was a waitress, you know, like you've been talking to people on and off and because of that I think I just picked up quite a bit. So Yeah. But oh well. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> no, funny funny mix. One of the uh, one of the chaps I work with here, um he's oh. Polish but he's been living here a long, long time. So he's got a oh. half Yorkshire, half Polish accent and that's that's quite funny. All right, okay. Yeah, like, I'm quite laughing at it because I thought I'm not going to have a um, Scottish accent at all. Whereas, like, I can hear people who are staying in Scotland for so long and, like, trainers and stuff like that. They're, like, saying strong, you know, like, this Polish accent is <laughs> just so, so funny. But I, I love it, though. But it's just, like, I'm always laughing at it. It's so cool. Um, yeah, anyways, shall we start with the questions that you got? Yeah, um, I was just... <laughs> I've got to try and... Oh, one... Was, oh, do you need uh, to remember that because you cannot go out from your phone, can you? <laughs> yeah, it's really difficult. I can't, I can't swipe out. So uh, we only got three in the end, I think. One You're was... You're not prepared. Like... <laughs> not prepared. I even brought some post-it notes, but they don't have anything written on them. I didn't, I didn't, I didn't prepare at <laughs> all. <laughs> Absolutely. I'm, I'm going to be late. <laughs> um, one was... Could you give any advice to someone who was doing their first show, like the first bodybuilding competition? Don't do it. <laughs> My advice. Don't, don't do, it. do it. Just don't. <laughs> no, to be honest with you, um, listen to people, but not too many. Make sure you listen to the right one. Well, the first one is listen to your coach. And if your coach is good enough, then you don't need to listen to anyone else. But there's lots of people on your way when you, you meet them. Um, and I found it really useful, like those people who are competing before, they were giving me a lot of advices. Um, they were telling me what's going on and um, to not be scared of it as well. And I was, I'm quite paranoid, like I'm literally, I was, I was going to that stage and I was like, oh my God, I can't believe I'm doing it and everything. So don't be scared, just don't be scared. Just do it if, if you love it, if you like it, if you want to do it, really just do it and make sure that you listen to your coach first thing. Because I think this is the right person to, to advise the most, I believe. Um, from different advice, I would say stick to your diet and never cheat. Even if you think you can cheat, don't. Just don't. Because that just makes things worse. Like, I wasn't cheating, but I had a... Like, I couldn't even have cheats. Like, I had no feet. Um, and for a wee while, I was staying off peanut butter. 
um, and I asked my coach, listen, Alex, you know, like I'm, I've been staying away from peanut butter for so long. Maybe I could just try a bit more back again because I felt like I was addicted, but because I wasn't eating that for so long, I felt okay with that. And he's like, yeah, just why not go for it? So I bought peanut butter. I remember that was like delivered from Asda. And imagine that I started eating that peanut butter and I couldn't stop. Like I was keep eating <laughs> like mad. Like with a spoon, just out of the yeah, top. Yeah, yeah, uh -huh. And then, like, see, the, the, fir the first try was like this. Like, I prepped my food. That was, like, rice cakes for peanut butter. So I waited it. And, and that day I ate it. And then I came back from work. And I still had that peanut butter. To make sure that I'm not going to eat it, I put that to the freezer. That was frozen peanut butter. And I still <laughs> took that out. Started eating it like crazy. Like, I was literally frozen. And then I realized, no, this is too mad. This is too mad. What I'm doing? And... So I had to, like, what I've done, I literally throw that away from the window just to make sure that I'm not going to eat it anymore. And then oh, in the morning, oh. when my when my trainer was picking me up, I've just seen a peanut butter lying on the floor. I was like, <laughs> oh, my God, this is just not, this is not happening. Like, oh, my so God. One of those things. So keep your diet like it is and don't change anything. That's one of those those advices, I think. And oh, never lose the training. <laughs> That's, yeah, that's good advice. That's good advice. Did um, so so did the peanut butter go rock hard? Were you like eating it like an ice lolly? Yeah, pretty much. You know, like because I was having like warm hands, it was starting melting kind of, and I was just like, you know, <laughs> that was like little portions, but I was able to eat it like that was um, crazy. Oh my god! I don't even. I'm, I'm keep laughing at that with my friend Camila. She's also competing, and she was doing UK BFF. Um, okay. And we had like those mad stories, so that was one of them. <laughs> oh, that's a good one. Do you think you're going to compete again soon, or? Uh, was that like about the show? Yeah, are you going to compete again? Um, yeah, uh, yeah, I will. Actually, that was one of the questions I got. Um, yeah, I'm going to compete. Fingers crossed in the show in May. I was thinking before about um, PCA, but. This is not going to be my main show at all. Um, the one I'm going to do will be probably in Birmingham. How far away are you from Birmingham, by the way? How far away from? Birmingham, are you? Oh, quite far. Um, I don't know how, how long it's been. Maybe two hours? Two hours. It's just because, uh, funny enough, the show that I'm going to, I'm thinking so, to compete in, it will be on an event of Body Power. Oh, yeah. Power Body. So you're supposed to be there. <laughs> yeah, we're always there. So um, yeah, Are you? We, yeah, we're always there. Amazing! Oh my god, that's so so good. No, because I'm I'm sure. thinking to compete that, and that will be my first one. I hope so. Um, then after that, probably the same one that was competing in last year, which is uh, BNBF, so that's national show, um, and UK DFBA, and I didn't the last year. I'm thinking to do it this year because it's in June as well. So. It's quite close by uh, May and June, so three shows so far I'm planning to do. Nice. Oh. Yeah, get them all close together so you only need to cut once. It's, uh, <laughs> yeah. No, so. but you need to still keep it going. So, like, if, yeah. if I'm getting to British finals, then you still need to keep it okay for September, October or whatever. So it's not that easy. Yeah. Have you ever been no. thinking about competitions? No, not me. Look at me. No. <laughs> What are you talking about? Look no, at no. me now. Hello. I can't, <laughs> I'm not like, even looking like I'm the show stage or anything like that. I can't imagine getting up on the stage in a little pair of pants. I just don't think that's me. Hmm. I think, see, by the time that you're actually doing this all, you're like, oh, like, you enjoy it. You don't even think that you're in pants. Like, that's what I said to one of my friends who was thinking about it. Like, once you're actually on the show, like when you're going out on stage, you're thinking to fight like a tiger. You're not thinking about being in a bikini or, or pants and stuff like that. So, Because what I always thought, you know, the most common piece of advice when you have to get up on stage and speak or present in front of people, they say, oh, just picture everyone's in their underwear. But you're on stage in your underwear. Like, that doesn't, <laughs> that sounds like literally the worst situation <laughs> to be in. It sounds that like sounds a... like it, but it's absolutely not. But yeah, you're right. Like, you need to like it. You need to yeah. like it. You need to enjoy the stage as well. Because one of my friends, also from my gym, she said that she loved all the process, but she hated being on the stage. And she didn't like that at all. Like, she had a stage break. And, and that's also not good at all. So... I'm not scared of it, 
because I used to sing when I was younger, so uh, that didn't really bother me to go on the stage. But to make sure I'm looking there okay, then this is like kind of paranoia you've got. <laughs> yeah, 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 that's fair. I didn't know you used to sing. What's that? I didn't know you used to sing. Yeah, that's something that not many people know. I've still probably got a few videos on my YouTube. Oh, right. Nothing special, nothing special. Oh, well, you've, got to, you've got to share that with the group. You've got to share that with the group. <laughs> Come on. You no. Post... Yeah, you'll have to share a link. We're, we're going to find it. We're going right, to find okay. it. So you might as well share it. <laughs> I will. I will. I promise. Just remind me. Um, <laughs> You're going to laugh at it, though. Bess just said, can we be athletes if you have a power body stall at power, uh, body power? If we have a stall, Beth, yeah, 100%. Um, sometimes we have a stall. Sometimes we just go uh, to support someone else. Like I think we were supporting Now Foods uh, one time before. So it depends if we have our own stall. If we do, absolutely. It'd be awesome to have you guys there. Um, I'll let you know about it when it gets nearer the time. Yeah, that would be good because I think, I don't know if we'll have to get the tickets for body power as mm. athletes or we don't. Do you know? Uh, no, I don't know, unfortunately, but um, I'll find that out for you and we'll, uh, we'll yeah, sort I've, I've seen there are, there are like some applications that you can do and yeah. body power as far as I know, but like I don't want to get myself into like saying, oh, I'm a, an athlete because I've just competed once, you know, so mm -hmm. I mean, I think you need a bit more kind of background in it. So. No, that makes you an athlete. Still at some point, yeah. 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 <laughs> I'm training every single day, so... Yeah, exactly. <laughs> and then more this year. That'd be good. Yeah, definitely. A lot more experience. This is what I regret as well. Well, for the uh, for the first timers, don't aim for only for the la for one show. Because I've prepared myself to one show, and that was me. Whereas I could do another shows, but never been planning that from the very beginning, and mm. that was a mistake. Like I could do it for longer because I was already in shape. And I regret I didn't, but I think that was just first year and I, I was still like, I was really good in condition, but I wasn't really big at all. And, and you know, next to other girls, I was looking just a little tiny girl, so. Right. Uh, Beth said, which competition are you planning body power go to? Is it body power model search or a different one? Do you know? Uh, different one, I think. I don't know what's body power search, I never heard that. Uh, no, I mean, it's new to me. I think it's UK, UP. Uh, as far as I seen on website that they are going to be in on Friday, ten of me. This is the one. Thing. Okay, you're How about me, Adam. Beth, are you going to compete in that one? Wait to hear from Beth. Um, another question we got was, what supplements would you personally consider like vital, fundamental? What do you take without fail? Uh, definitely more stuff than last year. Yeah. <laughs> it's just because of you. you <laughs> so I, what I, I possibly can. But let me have a look what I've got in here. Okay. Um, at the moment, like, I'm supporting myself with Supla is um, that multivitamins from Olim. This is what I'm taking. Oh, yeah, that's, that's healthy sport. Mm -hmm. I started taking it just this month, no, last month, sorry. Uh, and I'm continuing it. You've probably seen it on my order. Mm -hmm. Ashwagandha for stress, but it's like normal stress and stress of the muscles as well. Um, so it just helps you a bit in a rest, sort of. Um, ZMA, so that's what I'm taking too. Um, definitely fish oil. Mm, that's another one. I'm trying to think what else I'm taking. Like, be wise. <laughs> Like all the pills I'm taking is that as well as um, I'm taking mel melatonin from now on. I yeah, know yeah. you're probably not able to buy them in UK. Nope. Uh, <laughs> why? I don't get that. Like, yeah, there's a lot, UK is one of the uh, strictest places um, for, for sports supplements. There's a lot of things that uh, we have to get like European versions from the US, but uh, they have to make special ones that we can sell in the UK. It's a bit right. frustrating. I know, uh, but anyway, I'm taking it. If if you need them from home, let me know. <laughs> <laughs> you're, not so, you're not supposed to share this information. I, I'll, I'll buy I'll buy your presents. <laughs> no, but this is this is not illegal product. It's just illegal to be sold. I think, but in Poland, it's just usual thing that you can buy in pharmacy, and it's not yeah. like you need 
any prescription for it or anything yeah. like that. So as it's just for a good sleep, but if you are not able to take it, you can always take GABA, for example, which is also good, and I'm taking it too sometimes. Um, that's for sleep. I'm trying to think what else. Definitely BCA, so that's usual amino acids. Um, so I'm drinking that before workout and after workout. No, after workout. No, sorry, only after workout. Pre-workout, <laughs> before workout. And creatine, I can't pronounce that properly. My, my trainer always asks <laughs> me, I'm saying karate. Cre- creatine? Creatine. <laughs> yeah, that's what it is. <laughs> <laughs> right, Do you have any... Accent. <laughs> do you have any favourites pre-workout aminos? Do you have any favourites? Um, my favourite pre-workout is no explode. Is that what? No explode. Yeah, 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 so yeah um, I think like I'm overtaking it sometimes because I'm taking sometimes two scoops, which it's not <laughs> as often, but sometimes before like heavy leg session or something like that. And whoa, yeah, it's, like it's a pure bass, like I love it, love it. Um, but I'm gonna have to try the black one. Uh, what was what was it called again? The one that it, it, all black it, everything. Yeah, all black everything. That's the one. Yeah, yeah, applied, the same. That applied, yeah, applied nutrition. I think is all black everything. Yeah. yeah. So this is the I think Rax uh, gave me the recommendation for them. So I'm gonna try this and see how it goes. Um, I enjoyed Optimum Nutrition if you need something a little bit weaker, which I wouldn't say it's, it's weaker, it's just not, you don't feel it as, as you, like you got a hit. So sometimes yeah. people don't like that feeling, I do. So Which so one's the gold standard pre-workout? Gold, gold standard pre-workout, it's, it's not like it's lighter, it just doesn't give you that kind of hit straight away. Whereas mm. I find that hit after, um, what is it called again? The one that, that's my favorite one. Uh, no, it's <laughs> What's my favorite one called? Uh, oh, no, it's many of them to remember. No, <laughs> yeah, yeah, honestly, yeah. it's lovely. I love it. And you've got always a good price on it because it's either like uh, Bergen or something like that. And it's such a good price. Probably didn't see it. Yeah, we, we like BSM and Optimum over it. But what I used to use, and it's so good as well, is Amino Energy. Um, so that was just before I, I, I didn't enjoy that heat straight away and I wasn't trained as hard. Uh, I, I train a lot harder now. So I used to take amino energy. That was enough. That was enough. 100%. That yeah, you'd good. have that as a pre. Yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. We'll take oh, that pre right. workout and, and after something. So. But suddenly you can drink it like during the day if you don't enjoy coffee, you know, like if, just get amino mm. energy. It's so good. So. Yeah. What's your favorite? If, um... If, if you do like coffee, have you had the uh, have you had the new caffeinated all day you may the five percent all day you may? No, is that no, something really good? nice. They, they've um, they've got a latte flavour, which is really nice. Obviously, it's essential aminos, not just branch chain. Uh, really nice. They're bringing out some new ones as well. They um in the non caffeinated, they have southern sweet tea, and they're bringing out caffeinated southern sweet tea. So that's going to be okay. really nice. I'll we'll have why to send you some over. Why don't you send me a sample? <laughs> <laughs> I'll see if I've got some and I'll, uh, I'll put it in your, put it in your yeah. Christmas pack. Well, yeah. All right. <laughs> um, bef- before it scrolls too high, Beth replied and said she was thinking about competing. I don't think I can diet down to that level. I love food too much. Powerlifting might be my thing. I don't know. I, think Beth, I don't think it would take too much effort for Beth to get stage ready at all. I think, Beth, uh, you need to do what you enjoy doing. So if you mm. feel like you could like diet for a month and this is like not not a pleasure for you, if you know what I mean, then don't do it because powerlifting is a lot more enjoyable in terms of food. From what I can see at my gym, like there are people who are doing both and they enjoy powerlifting a lot more. Um, mm. But if you want if you want to try, I'll just try and see how you feel like because you're still like I think you're a lot leaner than me at the moment even so. If if you want to diet down, you probably need to lose about five six kilo as a max, maybe even less. So it's not that it's going to be super difficult for you. Beth's it's always probably... lean. Just anyone have a look at Beth's <laughs> profile. <laughs> she's she's always ripped to bits. It's crazy. It makes me feel terrible every, every time Vulcan season comes around. And Beth's just there on Instagram. I'm like Jesus. <laughs> this, this is the reason why I'm not coming for January photo shoots or video. <laughs> like, no. <laughs> No, I can show up in that kind of body. No, <laughs> no, no, no. 
<laughs> no chance. No, being being daft, but uh, powerlifting, yeah, best. Very, you are very strong. So uh, fair play, yeah, get on the powerlifting hype. Cool. Uh, uh, yeah. There was another question, but I can't remember what it was, and I can't, I can't investigate. I can't go back um, and see. I can't remember. It was. I was trying to let you move it, but I cannot do it. No. Can you hear me? Okay. Yeah, I can hear you fine. Mm, I cannot hear you now. That's so bad. Ever experienced night hunger, night if I can't say I do. I don't wake up hungry either. I know some people wake up starving for breakfast, but not me. I can't get breakfast in. I struggle. What about you, you Gosha? Ever experienced night hunger? Oh, my God. <laughs> I'm like, I'm so bad. I'm, I'm able to wake up in the middle of the night. It's not even waking up. I think my brother's coming in, by the way. Uh, yes, you're going to be on a live video, just so you know. <laughs> um... <laughs> okay <laughs> he's like okay um so yeah in terms of hunger during the night like i'm really really bad i'm able to eat for example pack of biscuits or chocolate or peanut butter or like i'm waking up in the middle of the night and I'm overeating sometimes i really need to control it that's why i'm like taking pills for sleep just so i can sleep whole night long and not waking up for food and it's not that I'm hungry as much. It's just like, it's a really bad habit that you get in when you're like training a lot. Yeah, 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 yeah. Do you struggle to sleep again after you've eaten? Uh, no, I'm actually feeling a lot better when I'm eating. And once I eat, I can sleep. Whereas when I'm not eating, I'm not able to sleep. It's, it's mad. I don't know why I've got it. Like, I've, that's why I like, always keep my last meal. Oh, <clears throat> I just reminded myself about one question that I got. Um, my one last meal is usually porridge, just because like there's like plenty of carbs in there, so it makes me sleep. So um, yeah. I'm always keeping like high carb at night, whereas a lot of people don't. But I was eating like this until <clears throat> until the end of my prep, like until and pretty much until my my show. So uh, I think I've just missed somewhere here. Yes, I wake yeah, up when... so much throughout the night. I eat in the night then, yeah. I definitely eat at night, um, just before sleeping, like around this 10 o'clock or something. Um, your issues sound very similar to my struggle of sleep too. Um, <clears throat> I can't say that you should take melatonin, but you should take maybe GABA. GABA is really good for sleep. Um, I was yeah. taking it for a wee while and it helped me a lot. So, um, so but I'll message you about, about that one. Something I'd recommend as well. Um, I don't know if you've had MHP uh, Recovery PM. Because uh, I, I struggle to get to sleep, and that, that knocks me out, to be fair. It's really nice. It's really nice flavor. Like You just have it with like 200 ml of water. Uh, it's like mango flavor or something. I'll, I'll send you guys that. I'll put it in. Sleep is decent. Yes, it is, Rax. Good. Uh, so, what good. is that exactly? Is, is that amino acids or...? Uh, it's, it's, it's just like a recovery formula um, oh, yeah. so, to, so to help you sleep and to help your, uh, you to get to REM sleep faster. So rapid eye movement sleep, so that you sleep deeper, so that you get the most out of yeah. your rest period. Basically, I'll send it. I'll send you um, a link to it and you, Beth, if you struggle as well. I'll uh, I'll do a post about it actually, so everyone can know what we're talking about. I'll post it uh, later today or tomorrow. That'll be good. Cause like, <clears throat> pretty much, I've got this problem quite a lot, and I, I mean, I noticed that like I don't know what else you could do to sleep better. And my REM sleep is very short because I've got that we watch. I actually forgot the charger mm -hmm. for it. Um, to Poland, but I don't need it in here to count my steps. Um, so yeah, um, and my REM sleep is like one hour, pretty much. That's all. So if that would help, then amazing. Um, yeah. I reminded myself about what question I had on mine. Um, the question was about my diet. What was my diet like, and what was my calories like over the prep time? Um, so prep time was a bit mad, and my calories were pretty low. Um, at the beginning, I started, I think, from 1,800 to to cut, and then I was cutting every single month. And my lowest calories about were about 1,300 calories. Um, in macros, it looked like my protein never changed, so it was 140 grams of protein, uh, between 40 grams to 30 grams of fats on the very end stage, it was even 25. Um, and carbs were like very the most. So I've started from about 150 grams of carbs and then 
I went as low as 80 on my like last three weeks. I think 100, yeah, 100 grams were like for most of the time when I was cutting 100 grams mm. of carbs. But this time round, I will be having a lot more happy days. Yeah, um, nice. Nice. Do you think, um, how much do you think you've put on since last time? How much uh, weight I put on? Sorry, how much you put on? Oh, muscle weight. Hmm. Uh, I think less than my coach saying, but he said to me that I'm going to be on a stage around three kilo heavier than I was. So I was 52 and he said that I'll be 55 this time, at least. I don't it's think you can on, I can't, I don't think you can put on mass weight for it within the year time, three kilo. However, I think maybe muscle maturity and everything else, it will look a lot better. So I would say maybe two kilo. Roughly, but I was I was really lean. I think I had to lose a bit of a muscle as well just to keep the proportion, because my legs were pretty nice and huge, but my upper body wasn't that great. So I had to lose like I was doing mad amount of cardio, like one hour fifteen minutes a day, um, and lots of reps on my legs just to cut off my legs, uh, right. just to get them a bit skinnier. But that was just in order to maintain the proportion. Right. Okay. Hands. Good tips. <laughs> Yep. <laughs> yeah. Nice. I uh, I, I just can't, I can't remember the third question. We had a third question on power body uh, story, but I can't, I can't remember. <laughs> That's it okay. Was. How's uh, your preparation to Christmas? When are you off? Uh, yeah, good actually. Um, so I'm in till Christmas Eve, uh, uh -huh. and then back on the 29th. But so uh, yeah, we get the we get the normal days off. But it's good fun. We've got uh, we've got our staff party on Friday. So we're going to go on a mad oh. one. Talk. Um, Are you going to be drinking? Sorry? Are you going to be drinking? Oh, yeah. Yeah, of course. Oh, it's Christmas. Yeah. <laughs> oh, yeah. Like, Just I mean, checking if you're this fit kind of person who's not drinking at all. But if you do, then that's great. Oh, no, no, no. <laughs> no I, I, I hardly drink. I hardly. I, I drink on occasions. I'll drink if it's someone's birthday or if it's Christmas or whatever. But that's it. I'm not one of them I, people who can go home and just sit on their sofa and have a beer yeah, I don't understand get mad. that. <laughs> yeah. No, I quite enjoy there. drinking, but since prep, yeah. nothing, nothing for Wait, another Scott... six, seven months. <laughs> so, You're Scottish. I'm still enjoying it. What? You're Scottish. I'm not. <laughs> <laughs> you are Scottish. I'm, I'm not. <laughs> <laughs> I, I am not. I am not. <laughs> if, I if, you want, if, if you want me to speak in Polish accent, I can always do. <laughs> Yeah, do that for the rest of it. It's good. But I hate it. I, I don't enjoy like speaking this way. I really need to put an effort to do so. <laughs> <laughs> to be fair, though, I suppose it's hard because uh, most of the English you've learned is from Scottish people, right? So how are you not going to have a That's Scottish not accent? With you? No? No, because I was uh, okay, standing in Poland for a long time and that was a guy that was giving me lessons. Um, I actually like to get in touch with him as well because I always see him when I'm here. Um, that was my English teacher and he was literally having like one hour conversation with me. He never been like teaching me from books. He was just telling me, don't even bring over the notebook. We are going to talk. So this is the way I started like properly speaking. Um, oh, yeah. So that was just... So did you, you learn most of your English, would you say, with him? Yeah, I would say so. Yeah, yeah, because yeah, I was I was always aiming to move to a different country. Yeah. So pretty much that was the reason why why I was just like trying to like push myself and and try to study a bit more. But obviously, like the Scottish part, I learned in, in there. <laughs> <laughs> now it's coming through thick and fast. I know. That's good. <laughs> <laughs> oh my god! I need to visit Europe one day. Well, one day, hopefully in January. Um, yeah, it's, it's not uh, it's not too far from Glasgow. I don't know what it is on the train, but it's only a couple of hours drive, I think. I think it's four hours or three and a four. half. Or something like that. I was yeah. um, I was in Edinburgh at the weekend, and that's a similar distance, isn't it, to Glasgow? Did you? When Just was it? Early. Sorry. When was it? Uh, at the this, weekend, Edinburgh, yeah. this this weekend there. This weekend. Are you joking me? I was in Edinburgh as well. Oh yeah. This yeah, is so strange. Awesome. Yeah, yeah, we awesome. got back and I was seeing lots of people's Instagrams and things saying, Oh, we were in Edinburgh. 
like loads of it seemed like a good handful of my friends were all in Edinburgh when I was there, but oh my I God. didn't know. And how crazy, yeah, I was there. Oh. Well, I need to let Where you know everywhere you I took. Did you go to Christmas was, markets? Yeah, it was a nightmare though, wasn't it? Oh, don't even See? tell me about the weather. I was freezing. But I got myself oh, uh, oh, yeah. is that patch? Like different what, tastes of fudge. Is that fudge that you fudge. get? Like the chocolate fudge? Yeah, oh my god, I was uh -huh. so good. Yeah. I took like yeah. six and ate them all. What I like <laughs> about that market, it was really good, but it was very repetitive. It was the same like five to ten stalls just over yeah. and over and over again. But I swear I've seen this before. Just going yeah. through it again. They're all still the same stuff. It was good though. It was fun. Yeah. I, to be honest with you, I can compare this one to, like, I love Edinburgh one, but when I came over to Poland and I spent Monday in Wrocław and we went there to the Christmas markets as well and it was a lot better. I enjoyed it a lot more. I was so good. I was oh, like, okay. no, Edinburgh is nothing. I thought Edinburgh is good, but it's not. <laughs> <laughs> Polish one is just the best one. Yeah. You'll have to try York Christmas market. York's got a nice Christmas market. Is it good? Yeah. Yeah, it's but, nice. It's but, not as big. By the time I'll be in, in, in UK, I'm not going to get there. Maybe next year. No. <laughs> next year. <laughs> well, there, there seems to always be a market in York. There's always something happening there. They've always got a reason to put on a show. Oh. Every but weekend. To be honest with you, I've never been there before. Like, I've never been even in England before. I need to go to London one day. Really? You've not been yeah. in England? That's no, never. I know, because I was, oh, wow. see, by, by the time, like, now I've got a little, a little more time than I had before because I was most of the time I was studying in here, like in UK, um, and I was studying and working both full time. So I've never had time to even travel around. So any time I had any trip, that was just in in Scotland, pretty much. All right, fair enough. Well, yeah, you have to make a trip down. Well, hopefully when we do these adverts, you get to come and see your. Yes, that's a, that's cool. what I'm hoping so as well. That's Fingers we'll crossed. A... Yeah, that'd be cool. Right. Any, right well, anyone has any more questions? Because if not, we're probably gonna finish off. Yeah, I have to say, I should probably do my, some of my job now. Um, well, I've yeah. got your order to do. I've got to send your order. <laughs> That's right. I'll see if That's I can find true. some samples of that all day. You may caffeinated. Yes, that's it. Thank so you so much for that. We've got some. That's right. I'll have a look to see if we've got some. But uh, right. yeah. Doesn't seem like anyone's got any questions. So thank you very much, Gosha, for jumping on live. We'll do it again soon. I'm sure. No problem at all. Right. Yeah, definitely. Well, it'll be a bit cut and ischemia. <laughs> Fingers yeah. Right, okay. I'll speak to you very soon and have a lovely Christmas. Oh, That's to you, you and too. everyone else. <laughs> <laughs> anyone who's watching. <laughs> See ya. Bye. Bye, guys. Bye.